now we're just about ready to to uh, to write our build function. So this will be uh, this will take the uh, you know all the all the changes we made, and then it'll it'll check them all, and uh, it'll return a result of uh, you know self and uh, and you know something. Uh, maybe we're going to have a you know just something simple like a string uh, if it doesn't work. So we're going to do that. Uh, mute self. Uh, and that's it. But uh, before that, um, there's a, you know there's a lot of ways to do this. But we want to make sure that the user can't just uh, do default and then and then height. Like we don't want to uh, you know them to be able to do this uh, because we want to force them to use this uh, this build function. So one way one easy way to do it is uh, do this can use uh, make this a bool. So uh, whenever we uh, we create a character, uh, it can, and then later on, you know, we'll we'll check this in the rest of our code. We'll, we'll imagine that uh, we're going to use this to uh, to check that. And so um, let's see over here, new, uh, new. We'll think about this later. Um, we will just comment it out for now. Um, whereas over here, um, so first we're going to start with uh, with default. And default is uh, can use. This is going to be true because we're happy with uh, with you know this name and age and height and so on. Uh, whereas over here we are we're not sure what the user is inputting, so we're going to say can use equals false for all of them. So the moment they start customizing their character, we're going to say uh, you know you can't use it until you uh, until you you know go to uh, use the build function. And this will actually let them, uh, you know, they'll still be able to create something, but we'll use some uh, some logic later to uh, to you know keep them from using it, or maybe we'll do like a, we'll loop, and then every time we'll we'll go through these characters, and if there's a can use false, then we'll delete it and uh, return an error message or something. Uh, but anyway, let's get to the build function. So we have a uh, result character string. Um, what are you doing there? And uh, so what we're going to do is say, okay, it can't be too tall. Uh, so we'll say uh, self dot height is less than uh, 200. We're going with centimeters, uh, and we'll say nobody can be taller than that. You know, maybe 250, but we'll say 200. Our game can't display over 200 centimeters for some reason. Uh, and self dot weight is less than 300. Uh, this is also kilograms, so that's uh, lots of weight. And then, uh, and then we're going to say there's a there's a bad word um, they're not allowed to use, and it's called uh, Smurf. So you can't have characters with uh, with Smurf uh, in the name. And so what we're going to do is uh, if not self dot name, um, and then we have a uh, <clears throat> a method called lowercase because we don't want people to be tricky and you know write Smurf and, and trick us. Um, so we want to change it to lowercase. Uh, and then contains Smurf, and that you know we want to use contains because we also don't want them to say I am Smurf like that. Um, we just want to know that you know it contains this. And uh, of course, there are better ways to do this with uh, regular expressions, but we'll be uh, nice and simple here just to give an idea. And then. Uh, so this is you know this is all the uh, all the good stuff. So if it's less than two hundred and less than 300 and there's no smurf inside there then we say self can use equals true and then uh, we will return an okay with uh with self inside it inside of it and then else uh, if it doesn't work we're going to return an error and uh, we'll just uh, write an error message um and uh, this is going to be a string so we'll say error could actually, I think this can be a stir, maybe a static stir. So could uh, not create character. Uh, characters must have, and then we'll just uh, say, you know, give a let's see, height below 200, weight below 300, and then um, a name that is not Smurf. Smurf is a bad word. It's a bad word. Like that, and uh, so that should uh, let's see that should finish our build function, and um, let's um, 
So let's try to create some characters and uh, see what happens. So uh, I'm just going to copy these in because uh, this is quite a bit of typing. So in the book, I have uh, I have a bunch of uh, sample characters, and we have uh, there we go. So we have character with Smurf, and uh, you know this is not okay. Lol, I am Smurf. That uh, and then the the user is trying to build it. Uh, too tall. We've got character. Um, oh, this should be default. 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 And then an OK character is going to be uh, this character changes the name to Billy Brobby, and that's fine. This is fine. This is fine. And uh, and then at the end, build is going to you know it's going to work this time. And then we're going to put them all inside of a vec uh, because these are results. And uh, let's see what happens. So we're going to uh, make this character vec. I should say let and they're all inside there now and then we're just going to say for uh let's see for character in character vec character vec and then we're going to match the uh the character and then it's either okay or it's air and if it's okay then that will be uh the character uh the character itself let's call it uh, character info and we'll print that out say uh Mm -hmm. uh, character info and then if it's uh, not okay then that's going to be an error message and we'll print that out and then we can see the message and there we go and then uh, let's also print one more line just because uh, this is going to be a lot of uh, a lot of printing so I think uh, I think that is okay. Self dot can use. All right, let's change that. Self dot can use uh, over here as well. Self dot can use. Let's run it again. See what we get. I did that a lot. This is the uh, the thing I like about Rust is that um, it. You can kind of just type away and uh, not care that much, and then the compiler is going to tell you uh, all your mistakes. So there you go. So uh, yeah, I said, okay, this is going to be a static stir, which is what this is. So we don't need to make this a string. And then, uh, so we you know, try to make our characters. Uh, this one, um, and you know, we're giving the same message. We could, um, later on, we could make like error messages with, uh, you know, um, improper name error, you know, Smurf error, we can have height error. But for now, we just have this, uh, we, re we return the single uh, string, a stir, and it just tells you, hey, uh, check, check all this stuff. And then uh, finally, at the end, we have this one character that does work. So now characters or uh, users of our code only have two ways to, uh, to make a character, they can uh, they can make a default character, or they can make a default character with uh, with these uh, with these changes, and then they have to always uh, go through build after that because uh, can use will be false. And then uh, you know later if you um, if we uncomment this uh, this new function, we might make it uh, you know a result as well, and uh, maybe do uh, do some checking there. But uh, we'll just leave it uh, commented out for now. So that is. Um, an example of the builder pattern, and there's also there's also builder patterns with um, with mutable references instead. Uh, but I always like this uh, this consuming one, which takes uh, takes value. I always uh, have the most fun with that. So that's uh, that's why we looked at that, and uh, and you know using the word uh, Smurf is fun too. So uh, that is uh, how you use that pattern.